New to version 9, we have shading and display reporting. This powerful visualization tool provides an ability to control shading and display by cut fill zones, surfaces, template codes, and various other attributes. Let's take a look at a few examples. Now let's start by displaying cut and fill. This particular project that we have up on the screen is going through a rather you know, steep terrain and a bit of a bluffy area here. Uh, so this is very useful for sh demonstrating, particularly those of you on the coast, where you're in areas of full bench cut. With the visualization tool showing, you can adjust your road alignment and see the immediate impact. Another option we can shade are called surfaces. And in this case, we're looking at the surfaces coming from our cross section. Here is surface one, that is our fill material on the top of the road, just up here in our cross section window, and below that is our subgrade. And we can shade those different surfaces in our plan window. Let's try it. And now you can see the areas of our road that are of each type of surface. Now, this particular example is not all that interesting, but for example, if we had a wall section assigned along our road, we could be able to use this same feature to be able to display where it is. Let's go in and assign a Gabion wall template that we've already made from station 1000 to 1100. So back into plan shading options and let's add an additional surface here. That's our wall surface, surface 5. And we'll also take out subgrade. And now you can see our wall section. From here we can export this back to terrain and include some of those shading features with it. Now in terrain, uh, we have polygons and these are really useful for calculating uh, the area and in this case the surface area of the wall. So for someone who's involved in geotextiles uh, or seeding, this derivative here of the shading can be quite useful. Back to the location module, let's take a look at another example, this time involving the display shading of code pairs. With this option, we can shade between any set of cross-section pairs, for example, road edges, shoulders, or in this case, ditch outside left and ditch outside right. And now, as we zoom into our design, you can see here we've got a section with the ditch just on the right, and down here we've got a section where we have ditches on both sides. So again, a really effective way to visualize different parts of your template uh, throughout your whole design. Last display shading option we're going to take a look at, and it's called Attributes. So there's a long list of possible attributes you can select from. Some of them are going to make sense and some of them aren't. Uh, in this case, we've selected grade. In this case, our design goes from a minimum grade of minus 10 to a maximum grade of 6. So we can shade in a variety of intervals and a variety of colors. In this case, let's give high grades the color red and our flatter terrain green. So here we can see that we're coming down the hill, it's a little bit steeper, and then we get into some flatter terrain. And this is just yet another way that you can help visualize your project a little bit better in the plan window. I hope you enjoyed this quick feature preview video. Thanks for watching.